Even if you can hit the camera away, we just saw your face. There's just... You're already caught. Plus, I'm sure there are cameras in the store to prevent this type of thing. Because for some reason, the owners are nowhere to be seen. So I hope she did get arrested for this. Oh, hello there. Welcome to the first episode of Crappy People. Where we'll be looking at people being, well, crappy. This will be a different type of content from my weird news videos. So don't be confused. I will still be uploading weird news videos, but I'll also be uploading crappy people episodes in between because, well, it's not so easy to find weird news. <laughs> so yeah, I, I just want to start this installment so I have a regular, you know, stream of content going. So don't panic. Um, yeah, I just needed to make that clear. And I hope you enjoy the content. Let's go. CTV's John Woodward joins us now live from Woodbine Beach. John, a much quieter night tonight. Well, Zoraida, take a look behind me. You can see officers arresting yeah. a young man there. Yeah. Uh, there's also been some yeah. noise from the yeah. passersby yeah. as well as police running through the trees there. Your report. Your clear. Your report and on the whole, it's a much different situation than last night. You wasting time in the city offending a lot of out of reach thoughts. Hey, I have a question. You think I can get your number? No, thank you. Go f yourself. Okay. Kindly f yourself. Please, just f Like, just please, just f Put a gun in your head and just f Please, just f So much hatred towards you women already. I can't stand you. rejected me all my fucking life. All my life. Yeah, and swearing at them is gonna make them give you their number, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this creepy guy who just approached me out of nowhere. He doesn't even know the freaking heck I am and is asking me for my number. Ah, right, here's my number. Like, what the heck? I personally don't understand guys like this. Guys who feel like, you know, women owe them the world or something. Like, women owe them something. They believe that whenever they approach a woman, a woman is supposed to say yes for some reason. You know, if you're not good enough, if you're not that woman's type, she's not gonna say yes, dude. Take it and just move on with your life or do something to make yourself better, you know, like to make yourself more attractive, to make yourself a better candidate for someone else. Swearing at them, what's that gonna solve, really? I'm Natalie Bumke with a frightening situation that unfolded this morning while our colleagues were live on the air. Chicago police have issued a community alert about the incident. They are trying to track down the man in these photos. Around 7 o'clock this morning at the corner of Clark and Hubbard, while our reporter was in the middle of a live report about gun violence in Chicago, a man walked up and pointed what appeared to be a firearm at our crew. Right now, police are calling this man a person of interest, accused of aggravated assault with a firearm. If you have any information regarding who he is or where he is, please contact Chicago Police. Our reporter and photographer were not injured, and we want to say thank you to the viewers who are watching Good Day Chicago and called or emailed to make sure our crew was okay. Dawn? I'm at McDonald's. I'm five months pregnant. These people don't know how to run a McDonald's. Come on. I want my money. They try, to, they try to treat me out my money. So this woman ordered eight at McDonald's and when McDonald's got her order wrong, which happens from time to time, instead of going back there, you know, and like tell them that uh, you guys got my order wrong, I would like to get a refund or, or something like that, she goes and she calls the police. And when the police don't help her, you know, obviously because it's such a trivial matter, this is what she does. I want my money. The sheriff says Joan's sister tried to get her to chill. Nope. Employees offered to reimburse her. Didn't work. She flipped out even more, whacking a sign off the counter that barely missed hitting an employee. Then she tore into a bunch of bottles, scooted behind the counter, and went to work on stacks of cups and other supplies. But she created a mess. And 
she acted like a McNutt. They just had to include that dad joke in there, didn't they? Instead of leaving with one from the restaurant, as a grand finale, she whipped up a little shake of her own. She pulls her shirt up. There you go. There's a little twerk on the way out the door. So this guy says the thieves stole his tiny mobile home, you know, his trailer that he was using, his trailer that he was living in basically, and they just stole it and all of his belongings were just in there. And you can just see this man, like imagine serving all of that time, ending all of those medals, and like defending, like fighting for your country, only for these people to just come and just steal it in just one night or just, like just one instance and everything you own is just gone. like. Ah, it's just painful man, it's just painful, it's just super painful. I really hope that this guy is able to get back on his feet and you know, when you lose everything that you own, you kind of just like, feel like giving up, you know, because what's the point, you know, what's the freaking point? Literally everything you owned, you owned was in there, like, it's just sad, it's really really sad. Y'all snitched, but they couldn't catch me in the act. Like, <laughs> dude. Watching these videos, it's like it decreases my IQ, dude. Like, it just decreases my IQ. The things that people do in front of the camera, and then they look, they look Bruh. at you like that as if they are so badass. Like, it's like, what the freaking heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. I just, I, you just, it's just, ah. Uh. I was cheating on my husband of 18 years with his own friend and after two years my husband caught me how can I make this go away from his mind and have him forgive me and move forward bruh I don't think he's ever gonna forgive you I just don't think he's ever gonna forgive you 18 years you threw away 18 years just to cheat on me with my friend and then you expect it to just go away just like that like Oh my gosh. Yeah, I understand, ma'am. You got nothing to be scared of, ma'am. Trust and believe me. What's your PayPal mail? Ah, sorry for wasting your time. I just remembered I can't get into my PayPal account. Sorry, I hope you have a lovely day. Do you know what? You will die this year, you fool. So now GTF. Like, his mask fell off so freaking quickly. Now, now that your scam didn't work, you just wish death upon the person. Is that how it works? I'm really confused.
So yeah, that's the end of the first episode of Crappy People. Tell me what you thought about this episode. Um, I really enjoyed making this, you know. I really enjoyed making it. Just to make it clear once again, I'm not just making these video, these Crappy People videos now. I'm still going to be making weird news videos. In fact, I'm go I am going to be uploading a weird news video soon. I, there is one that I'm currently working on. So yeah. Thank you for watching until the end. Comment and tell me what you thought about it and leave a like if you enjoyed it. I will see you next time.